Joining me live from Biloxi, Mississippi is Dottie Lee. She's a cross-cultural communications expert and founder and CEO of Trans-Pacific Communications. It's such a unique tradition, uh, keeping alive the memories of lost loved ones. Um, how is this day celebrated, not just in China, but around the world, would you say? Hey, Mike, thanks for having me. This is our tradition and this uh, holiday, if you will, Qimingjie. Uh, has been around for 2,500 years. So we observe a lot of, of these rituals and by, first of all, going to visit our ancestors' tombs and we bring flowers, food, small dishes, and to the grave site, we uh, clean uh, the grave site, so to speak. Tomb sweeping came from that. And we mend the tombs we bring offerings, we burn incense, and we uh, talk to our ancestors. We talk to our diseased diseased loved ones. Uh, we, we tell them stories. We worship them. And we uh, remember this day by getting things prepared. And uh, there's a whole lot, a whole lot of uh, other rituals we observe around this holiday, but it's one of the most important traditions in our culture, in our country. Custom, and as you alluded to, not just people in China, but Chinese diaspora observe this important ritual um, anywhere in this world, on this on this planet. Yeah, and Dottie, how would you say events have changed over the years with you know modernization? Uh, in particular, in the past two, three, four years, when the pandemic hit, people were not able to go visit these uh, grave sites and tombs, so. People were creative. They came up with uh, cloud offerings, cloud um, worshiping, cloud tomb sweeping. There were sites that popped up that offered people appointments to do these virtual cloud worshiping and tomb sweeping, if you will. So it didn't have the same emotions or same same effect as you were to go in person. However, it offered some kind of comfort by doing so, you were able to at least offer something to your loved ones and by remembering them through these virtual services. And Dottie, how did you spend the day? I mean, and, and what's the buildup like uh, coming up to it? Because it is a special holiday. Well, I've been in the United States for the last 36 years or so. Although I don't have a place to visit per se, I do uh, remember this day by living this through my parents and my siblings and my relatives who are still in China. As a matter of fact, I just returned from a visit uh, to my parents about two weeks ago, and uh, we were able to remember our ancestors, uh, the loved ones. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to go to a tomb site per se, but uh, I lived this experience through my loved ones. And so that's very meaningful to an individual like myself who's lived in overseas. And talk about this year's education campaign uh, revolving around this. Well, there are a lot of things people need to be aware of. One thing in particular is safety, right? Um, not too long ago, you may have uh, seen in reports, uh, especially by CGTN, that people have gone to the grave site, they burn incense and paper money, that sort of thing. But uh, one individual in particular, just uh, maybe six days ago, five days ago, who have who had forgotten to uh, put out the fire. So the ember traveled to nearby grassland and forest and caused you know, some tremendous damage and fire. So I think safety is always the most important thing. It's not just burning incense and uh, putting out of fires, but also the safety around the gravesite. And also there are some taboos in the culture, if you will. There are some taboos that um, people should not be doing. And so I think those are still educational awareness campaigns, quote unquote, that people should be remembering not to, not to, you know, commit those uh, faux pas. And we've got about 20 seconds, but uh, what do you make of uh, the story we just had on where you're seeing a lot more tourists coming this time of year to observe uh, this event? Well, I think it's a, it's a ritual that uh, all 
humans could relate to. It resonates with people. I think tourists come to observe that may have caused some kind of negative energy because one of the taboos uh, I was alluded to, lots of taboos, one of them is to not participate, not partake in other person's um, tomb sweeping activities. It's considered as bad luck. Uh, if you're not related to that diseased one, you should not be part of that. So by participating or observing as a tourist, it, it doesn't bring good luck uh, to these, those individuals or maybe to themselves. So I don't uh, really quite understand the tourism uh, around this area. But mm. I think people have a reason to, to watch and, and see what this is all about, maybe curiosity. Dottie Lee, thank you so much for joining us from Biloxi, Mississippi. Appreciate it.